So, one of the not so fun parts about having a laser is the cleaning part. And it's been a really long time since I've cleaned this thing, but it's definitely time. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you some nice before footage and after footage because maybe that will feel satisfying enough for me to do it. This video is brought to you by the Spruce and Linen shop where you can find weaving looms, kits, tools, and supplies. Link in the description box below. All right, so. Welcome to my shamefully dirty glow forge. It's actually, it's not the worst it's been, but you can just see all the like gunk on there. And there's just gunk everywhere. The crumb tray is like super full. It's really nice and dirty back in there. That doesn't get cleaned that much because it's hard to reach, but yeah, the worst part is probably this. I can get this off with one hand. Okay, where is it? Check out how dirty this little fan is. So this is why I'm cleaning it mostly because that little fan is not really doing a whole lot and it's making everything um, come out of the laser like a lot more charred than normal, which means that the airflow isn't um, working properly, basically. So yeah, that's what I'm going to spend my Friday afternoon doing. And like I said, not a huge fan of this part of it because it's, it's really sticky and gross because we cut we cut all wood basically. I think other things obviously would do this too, but we cut all Baltic birch ply and um, wood naturally has like a bit of a stickiness to it, right? And so when it gets heated up, it just, yeah. And then this thing gets filled with smoke because basically the laser is burning the lines into it. So anyway. I gotta clean this and then I will show you hopefully a really satisfying after. Okay, you guys, yesterday I did finish cleaning the glow forge. There's a little bit of dust there, but the sun is shining on it. And the crumb tray, this is not less satisfying than I thought it would be. This crumb tray um, would not get cleaner unless I took like a pressure washer to it, which it's a little cold outside for that here but everything is really nice and clean now and it's gonna cut a lot better now. So the main thing for the Glow Forge is cleaning. There's a little fan inside the laser and then there's also a fan behind it. And then it runs through, since our warranty ran out, we actually upgraded our fan to this beast um, cause it's a lot easier to clean and it's more powerful, but anyway. So now it'll cut a lot better and I must admit that is one thing I didn't really know about the laser going into it is the cleaning process. It's not that bad, but it is a little bit annoying. And I mean, it makes sense. It's filled with smoke and soot. So you kind of got to clean that every once in a while. But anyway, good as new. All right guys, so that's a little bit of behind the scenes with the Glowforge. Of course, this isn't sponsored or anything. I just wanted to give you a little insight to what it's like to have a laser. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell to get notifications when I post new videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.